Callum Harrison, centre midfield, centre attacking midfield. The first game I played for Sudbury would have been when I came on loan from Needham Market, but for good or bad reasons, I can't actually remember that one. So I'd have to say about the one where I first signed for Sudbury, which would have been the start of the following season. Uh, the first game we had Tilbury away. I remember setting up Billy Holland before half time uh, to make it 1 0. And then I think in the second half, the boys played really well. I think we ended up winning 4 0. I think it's called the third one. So, yeah, it's good to start with a win and a goal that season. Um, it's a tough one because um, we've only really had one DJ before the game, which is Barris. Um, I've ripped into him a couple of times because he's, a couple of his tunes have been questionable. But, yeah, it's harsh to say him really because he's the only one that stepped up to the plate for it. Marksy likes an older tune, so I'd have to throw him in for that one as well. This one's probably one I scored against Deerham, not the season we just played the one before. Um, that one was, yeah, a decent one. And then I think the one I scored against Grace this season away, I think that was only recently. Um, yeah, either of them two were my favourite ones. Tough question. Um, not for any harsh reasons, but probably one of the more quieter lads or... One of the lads that I don't speak to as much as I do the other lads. Um, yeah, just for that fact, really. I wouldn't say I necessarily have like a best mate. Um, I think in a dressing room, you always get on better with some lads than you do others. It's just how it goes. Um, but yeah, sort of get on with everyone. So it's hard to say just one person, really. That's a tough one because obviously we go to matches and training and our kit and stuff and our track suits. I don't really get much of a chance to see the boys club up, but... I think, as Bill said, I think Reese has had a couple of, I throw him under the bus here, a couple of uh, questionable outfits after training. And I've also um, seen him wear pink flip-flops in the shower after a game, so I think we'll have to give him give him that one. And again, Mark said, I'm going to throw you under the bus. I've seen a couple of questionable at skis on Twitter, so yeah, I say Mark's as well. Um, what peak to topping do I go for? A um, bit boring on that front. Just go for a pepperoni or, controversially, quite a lot of almond pineapple. So, either, either of those two, really. Um, again, it's another tough question because I think, especially this season, the standard of the boys' pens has been pretty decent. Um, but I have heard the story. I think I think Bill mentioned it as well, about Detmar smashing one over the bar um, a couple of seasons ago. So, I'd have, to, I'd have to give him that one. Sorry, mate. I don't, yeah, I don't really know what else to say for that one. Um, definitely for me, he's a bit of a no-brainer. That's Joe Grimwood. <laughs> loves a selfie. Loves a, a loves a topless picture after he's had a gym session. Um, on his Instagram, don't really know why he does it. To be fair, because I'd say that I'm I'm bigger than him and I don't do it. So, um, um, I'd say probably the first one I went to watch at Barcelona when I was a kid. Um, that's a memorable one just because obviously it's Barcelona, massive club. Um, I also went there two seasons ago with my brother and watched them play against Villarreal. Um, and just watching them uh, first hand rather than on the TV, it's hard to appreciate how good they actually are on the TV. Um, but watching them, yeah, just unbelievable. I mean, I'm probably I'm probably up there, but I'm going to give that one to Cass just because he actually says it himself. He do not like training. And um, yeah, I've seen him shank a few over the bar of his left foot. So I'll give that one to him. Um, um, I think the boys would probably have the amp if I didn't say myself for that one. So, yeah, I've got a, got a couple of lads in there. Ben Hammett, for example, that does that for me. So, yeah, I'd say that one's probably me, um, to be fair. One of them was this season. Um, I think it was Joe Grimwood and, and Hunts that were warming up. Uh, Berry at home, I had a corner. And then um, we've obviously got a corner routine where it's an in swinging corner to the back post. And it's almost like I am actually having a shot from the corner because, obviously, we're hitting... Big lads at the back stick, and I can't remember if it's DC will have a go at me for this, but I can't remember if it's two arms up or one arm up. Um, but Hunt is, as I've gone to get the ball for the corner, Hunt is obviously warming up with, with Joe Grimwood um, in the corner, and he said to me, like, cow shoot as a joke. And um, yeah, I've like said back to him, like, top bins, and I've actually hit the corner and it actually did go top bins, and we sort of like, looked at each other and was just like, what has just happened, sort of thing. So that was a good one. Um, the other one, the boys who remember. Um, wasn't the season we just played the one before and um, we were warming up and obviously in the warm up things are quite serious like you're trying to pick the tempo up and stuff and I think the ball's gone out in keep ball and we, we were warming up with the yellow match balls 
and Skins is obviously daydreaming or whatever, and he's he's gone to like get the ball back in quickly, and he's seen something yellow like beneath him, and he's gone to kick what he thinks is a ball, and it was a cone, and like he just basically did an air kick and kicked the cone, and it was like all the boys just started started laughing during the warm up, so that was quite a good one. I think Bill mentioned about obviously the gaffer after Worth in this season. Um, yeah, the less said about that, the better, really. Um, best dancer. Me and Barris have got a couple of celebrations, so I'd say me and him. No, I'd say him for that one. Barris is not bad at dancing. Worst dancer by a country male, Joe Grimwood. Stiffest geezer I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely Grimwood for that one. That one probably, yeah, I probably would give to Grimwood, but I'm going to give it to Ben Amick because I've never seen someone tackle like he does. He's, yeah, gets me out of jail a lot, so I'll give him for that one. I'll give him that one. That one's probably... Um, Probably when we beat Bognor Regis in the FA Cup replay, um, I think Skips whipped a free kick bins. We were two one down with two minutes to go. Um, his equalising had gone to extra time, and I think that a few of the few of the boys were sort of looking around, thinking, "Have we actually got an extra half an hour in the locker?" Um, and we've ended up winning it in extra time. And obviously they were the league above us. It was the FA Cup second or third round. So yeah, that was that was probably my favourite moment because all the boys worked hard for it. The celebrations were decent after the game. So yeah. I reckon probably that one.